Hello, everyone. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to What's On Saturday. I have a special guest today. Obviously, this is not Ryan. Many of you probably do know her, but if you do not, this is my mother, Debbie. Yes, I will be <laughs> subbing in for Ryan while he is soaking up the sun yeah. in Orlando. And I just need to do one thing. <laughs> There, that's better. There we go. Now it's correct. <laughs> but yeah, Ryan is still in Florida. He actually comes back tomorrow. He'll be back on Tuesday. And if Ryan did send me a clip, like I've been having the rest of the week, I'll put that in right here. Or if he didn't, I'll just send you some new pictures of him. But he said he's going to. So here's Ryan. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Saturday video. Today is unfortunately my last day in Orlando. We fly back at the crack of dawn tomorrow. So all of next week, I will be in all of the regularly scheduled videos. I'm super excited to see Debbie and this week's What's Hold Saturday. She is absolutely hysterical if you've never seen her in one of our videos before. She is so funny. So that'll be really interesting and I hope everybody has really good sales this week. I had an amazing time in Florida. It is so beautiful outside. It's so sunny. It's so nice. I'm not super excited to go back to the cold, but I miss everybody. So I will see everybody on Tuesday. Bye. So thanks, Ryan. <laughs> now back to cold Minnesota. This week of What's Hold Saturday covers the 8th through the 14th and Debbie's gonna follow my lead just like Ryan Ryan normally would and she's gonna share her sales from the week and then after that Debbie has a few highlights from like recent weeks and she's obviously not normally in what's on Saturday that she would just like to share since my weekly ones have a lot of low ones I want to <laughs> share a few high ones yeah Debbie wants to show that not all of her sales are just like seven <laughs> <laughs> but my first sale, I think, is $7. <laughs> yes. So this week covers the 8th through the 14th. First off, we usually talk about how our sales week was. So mine was actually very, very, very good. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you probably saw this picture that I did a lot of shipping one day. And that is because I actually sent out 30% off. I used the offer to likers, like that new tool where you can just pick a percent and you check all the things you want to send it. And I did 30% on a ton of stuff. And so my my sales week was like really really good but that is the main reason so I don't know if there's like if people are actually spending a lot right now I just know that I sent offers out and I did that one day and maybe had like <laughs> four or five sales which is a lot for me in one day yeah it was like overall <laughs> this is just a hobby yes Debbie does this like part-time unlike me obviously this is like my only way of income but she's full-time an accountant so Debbie just like this isn't money she like depends on for her mortgage or anything oh sometimes yeah <laughs> unless it's necessary. But I have been trying very hard starting maybe six months ago to just like leave this in the Poshmark account because I thought I really would like to do some home improvements. I actually, it's been probably about six months and I'm very, very close to my first goal, goal yes. of a home improvement. My first goal is for countertops and I'm very close. So it's been exciting yeah. watching it grow yes this is debbie's little like house fixer up like pot kind of so she yeah. has certain goals and so if you buy from debbie you are contributing to debbie's little home improvement projects where jack and ryan also share the benefits because they are here <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah you're helping everybody <laughs> yes and i usually am not shopping to sell be i just either i'm sometimes selling my own stuff or the boys find things for me in the bins or sometimes they just don't want to sell something so i sell it so i'm not really spending money to shop mostly mine is pure profit yeah we'll talk about it like as we go through but a lot of debbie's like she said either like we'll pick stuff up at the bins that we know she likes like when i sometimes show zara and i say i'll get this for debbie it's because debbie does a lot of zara and i don't really like zara i like top shop i don't really like top shop but debbie does top shop quite a bit or it's her own stuff or like she said sometimes we just like <laughs> are listing something and we just decide that we don't want it anymore and she'll take it because she doesn't just want to donate it. She wants to make money off of it. And I'm okay if it has a little hole in it or a small little spot, but <laughs> they like perfect stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we'll jump into the sales now. So the first day of the week is the 8th and I'm gonna have to figure out a different way to edit in pictures for the 8th at least because I don't want to spend hours and hours editing because I had 21 sales and so I'm not gonna sit here and wow. go through one at a time so I don't know if maybe I'll do like a video of me scrolling through them or somehow this will just look different than normal is my warning and I had zero <laughs> 
the 8th was the day that I sent out all the offers. So obviously then on the 8th and the 9th, I had a decent amount. So I guess we will jump into it. So deep breath, lots to go through. <laughs> so my first one was this Free People Liz sleeveless wrap top. This sold for 30 and I get 24 and that was a Bins find. My second one was also a Bins find and it was this Banana Republic striped Hello Weekend sweater. This is not something I would normally pick up to sell, but I just thought it was really cute because it had the Hello Weekend embroidered on it. That sold for only 14 and I get 11.05. Then this sold for quite a lot. I sold this J. Crew wool color block duffel toggle coat and this sold for 80 and I get 64 and that I actually bought at a normal thrift store. I think I probably paid around 10 for that. Nice. Then I sold these that were also a bins find, but this was a really good flip for being in the bins. Sorel leather after hours Chelsea wedge boots. These sold for 116. Mm and I get 85.35. I was standing at a bin watching someone go through the shoes and I watched them skip these and I don't know why they did that. Oh, bad for them, good for you. My next one went to Emily, who is a viewer. So thank you very much, Emily. She Thanks, bought, Emily. <laughs> she bought this Zara plush soft knit V-neck sweater for 17 and I get 12.10. Every once in a while I'll keep Zara, not super. I was super. just gonna say, I didn't get that Zara. <laughs> this, this should be a Debbie sale. <laughs> Every once in a while, I'll keep it if I just think it's really cute or if it's that new label where they're all like uppercase letters and they're all like smashed together because that stuff can do better just because it's super new. And I think that was the case with this. Then I sold this pair of Free People Wide Leg Crop Culotte Pants. I wanted to consign these so bad because I just wasn't a huge fan and white pants kind of frustrate me, but they had a lot of likes, so I kept holding on to them. And they sold for 21 and I get 1530. And the person said perfection. So that's mm. great. Then one of my absolute favorite things to sell, Spanx. I sold these brown ankle zip seamless shape wear Spanx and these sold for 35 and I get 26.50 and I only had those for a couple days. Then I sold American Eagle striped mom jeans. Another thing I don't sell very often, but these were really cute and they were a good size. They were size 12 and I got them at the bins and they sold for 21 and I get 15.30. I sold this Anthropology 11s lace jumpsuit and this sold for 35 and I get 26.50. And for some reason I've noticed jumpsuits just don't sell very well, which is really weird because they used to be really popular, I feel like a couple years ago. Like people wear them to weddings and stuff, but. It's not so easy to go to the bathroom. Maybe that's it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> also, I mean, jumpsuits are really hard to take pictures of. So it's, you really have to find a model picture, which I did for this, but I feel like with jumpsuits, that's very important. Then I sold more Spanx and these were Spanx arm tights, cropped top shapewear. I had never seen Spanx, like a Spanx shirt. And when I picked it up, it was literally like this tiny. It almost looked like a kid's. Wow. But that's obviously because it's supposed to be like tight and holds you in. So that was interesting. This was a bins find though. It probably cost me like a dime and it sold for 24 and I get 17.70. Then Do I they make that for the mid area? Yes, I Ooh, actually have that. Okay. <laughs> 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 then I sold this Athleta Sage Cloud Light Stratus t-shirt. Sold for 14 and I get 9.55. Not an Athleta style I'd normally sell, but it was the new tag. Then I sold Fry Antonia Thread. That must be the Fry name for it. Suede Shooty. Sold for 50 and I get 40. Then I sold a bundle of Everlane Leather Italy Boss Booty with Lululemon Uncovered Mesh Striped Top. And on our channel, we say Lululemon. Lululemon. <laughs> <laughs> I've been trying to teach Debbie like the things we say and that we call a certain thing. We call it Janine and we have different names for things and stuff. So she's trying to get in on the lingo. So, Lululemon, <laughs> and that sold for 100 and I get 80 So then I sold Stetson Wool Crushable Brown Cowboy Hat that my dad wanted to steal from me, but I sold it instead. Sold for 40 and I get 32 Debbie sells Stetson quite frequently as well. Then I sold a pair of Fry Melissa Scrunch Knee High Boots. Sold for 88 I get 70 40 Then I sold this Ugg Sherpa Logo Spell Out Sweatshirt, and I was actually thrift shopping with Debbie, which is a very rare occurrence. Like she said, she doesn't really buy to sell very very often, but we went to Salvation Army and I found this and I almost didn't get it just because I thought like Ugg clothing mm, and it was like seven dollars, but it actually sold in like two minutes or 20 minutes. Like it sold really, really quickly and Debbie told me to get it. So. Yes. Did I say how much that sold for? 
It's over 38 and I get 30, 40. Then I sold this Nasty Gal Star Print Flare Pants and these sold for 45, which is very surprising. That was my full listing price and I get 36. Those were from a normal thrift store. I think I paid like five or six. Then I sold this Savage Fenty Cheetah Print Black Bra. That was a bins find, sold for 17, I get 12, 10. Then I sold this Banana Moon 70s Beach Babe One Piece Swim. This I think was an ASOS swim thing and I found this at Unique and it sold for 28 and I get 20, 90. And last on the eighth, I sold this Anthropology Chiara Pirano print cherry briefs and they sold for 15 and I get 12 and that was a clearance anthro find that I probably paid like three or four. Wow. Okay, now that that's over, <laughs> on the 9th, I had 11 sales. <laughs> I had five sales. That okay. might be the day that you had me do that sale thing. Oh, Because yeah. on the 10th, I had four more. Yeah, so. I probably told you that I did that and then you did it Yes, I did 30% off also. Yeah, and I bet that a lot of these 11th are people that were just like stragglers who just were accepting it kind of late on. So I will power through mine so we can finally let Debbie talk a little. I feel like I'm like running out of breath here. <laughs> so my Which is first, a good thing. <laughs> my first one was this cool Renegade Duralex Comfort Athletic Pair of Shorts. These were men's and it was a Ben's find and they sold for 28 and I get 2090. Then I sold these shoots Adriana Lima Publia Zebra print heels. These were a Nordstrom rack find and I probably paid about 20. So I didn't really make a ton. They sold for 50 and I get 40. I they just weren't doing as good as I was hoping, so I was willing to take that offer. Then I sold these level 99 Y2K low flare wide leg jeans. These were super, super wide leg and I got these at a consignment store on deep clearance. They sold for 45 and I get 36. Then I sold this junk food, all you need is love Beatles tank top, sold for 14 and I get 9.55. Then I sold this Levi's wedgie icon straight high jeans, sold for 45, I get 36. I might've paid almost 15 for those. This might have been my highest sale of the week. It is this Beholden Sachin and Bobby gold bow detail dress. This was from a consignment store and I think I paid about 20 and it sold for 200 and I get 160. So Sachin wow. and Bobby is definitely a bolo brand. Still look up the style though because I know that some of the styles are a bit more dated and I think they have some other labels like Night by Sachin and Bobby or something. And I sold this bundle of once again, some Fry. Fry knee-high brown leather boots and Free People flannel plaid Hidden Valley top and spiritual gangster leopard print jacket spiritual gangster i'm being very picky with now because i think i heard that tj maxx sells it and so it's much less popular and valuable all these sold for 175 with free shipping so i get 132.55 i sold this free people movement wandering sweatshirt sold for 30 i get 24 Lululemon printed waist band leggings sold for 21 i get 16.80 frame wool cable knit patchwork sweater Sold for 100 and I get 80. And last, on the 9th, Reformation black long sleeve top. Sold for 25 because it was just like a thin black t-shirt and I get 20. Wow. And that's it probably for my sale. The rest of these will just be normal <laughs> sales. And I need like to rest. I was going to say... I will try to talk slow on my few <laughs> sales to give you a break. Yeah, well, on the 10th, I only have had two, so that's okay. I won't have much to say for the 10th. You had how many on the 9th again? Five? Five. And it starts off I'm with, like a, oh with a delicate chemise for $7. And how much do you get? And I get a $1.59. <laughs> I think that's a record for lowest profit. Well, on what's those <laughs> it could be, but I guess it's better than putting it in a bag and donating. True, and you got five stars, so that's good. Yes. Then second, I sold a Zara denim shirt, which Jack gave me from Finding oh, in the Oh, yeah, I like just gave that, so that yes. sold really yes, fast. Yes, that sold very fast. It sold for 22 and I get seventeen sixty on and that. five stars again. Wow, you got a lot of five stars. Yeah. <laughs> Next, I sold some Madewell Lisbeth flats, and I sold these for my niece. She has asked me to sell a few things, and they sold for $25, and she gets $20. How charitable. <laughs> Five stars also on that. And one of my top sales... This was good. ...was a Kate Spade one-point Hallie tote, and it's 
got a cute little like ballerina, mm -hmm. I think, on it. I bought it on Facebook Marketplace, which I think the boys have said that I sometimes like to find things on Facebook mm -hmm. Marketplace. I think I paid 40 I sold it for $101, and I get $79.30. Yeah, Debbie was kind of on a kick where she found like a lot of rare purses on yeah. Marketplace. Like she also got some of the Dooney and Burke Disney, which can be worth a ton. Yes, I still have that. Yeah. But it has a lot of likes and I think I probably paid like $40 for yeah. that. Then I sold some Fabletics Power Hold Leggings. I do believe they were kind of uh, purplish camouflage and they sold for 11. I got 655 and once again that was Jack finding that in yes. the bins. Five stars. Yeah. <laughs> again. <laughs> that was it for nine. Yep. Okay so then on the 10th like I said I only had two which is kind of nice. Didn't give me a bunch of stuff to ship because I was shipped out. I had four. Wow so you beat me. <laughs> Woo! So my dollar wise, you probably still beat me. <laughs> <laughs> so my first one was you guys have heard Ryan and I mentioned these a lot. We had a ton of these Levi's, and I now have one pair left, and they're a size twenty three. So mm -hmm. I sold this pair of Dolls Kill Levi's Ribcage Bootcut Flare. Like we said, this pair of Levi's was sold at Dolls Kill. It was sold at Aritzia, Free People, Anthro, Urban Outfitters. It was literally sold everywhere. Sold for sixty, and I get forty eight. And then my only other one on the tenth was this. Lululemon Vinyasa Henley Infinity Scarf, which I think might be that one that you can wear like 20 billion different billion ways. Different ways. Yeah. Uh, sold for 25 and I get 17.54 and that was a nice purple color. My new one is like a staticky gray black kind of. I have like a neon type orange scarf. Oh, yes, mm. with some white, with pinstripe white, I think. Mm. That. The vinyasa. Yeah. Lululemon. I don't. Lululemon <laughs> vinyasa. When you said that there were 23 that you have left of those Levi's. Yeah. I don't know if I've ever been a 23. Maybe when I was a baby, but oh I never gosh. bought pants at yeah. 23. Last time, wow. at, last time I was at the bins, <laughs> I found a pair of American Eagles that were a size double zero. There's this woman there named Sue who Ryan and I are pretty like close with she watches us and she's just super nice and she's there all the time and I held them up and I'm like can you believe that these are adults like they literally were like it's like my hands were this close on the waist it's like so wow. tiny I can't even imagine okay my first sale on the 10th was Matisse Yorker black riding boots which sold for 12 and my earnings were 755 although I think I sold these for my sister she picked up a bunch of boots for like two bucks at a turnstile I will say Matisse can be a bolo. It's kind of one of those brands where it depends on the style. Because, like, some of them are really cute and popular. And then, I mean, some are dated, but that's with yeah, everything. Yeah, and I think they are expensive. And then, once again, I sold some Fabletics Teal Capri leggings that I'm sure Jack gave me that he found in the bins. I do give Debbie Fabletics a lot. Yes. I just don't have the best luck. I think, don't you have luck sometimes in Mercari with those? Yes. Debbie's also a heavy Mercari user, seller. Yes. More than me, even. <laughs> And this is my job. <laughs> I also have a lot of things besides fashion. You know, I have knickknacks oh, like and things. Okay, hard and goods. And... I have quite a few stuffed animals. <laughs> Yes. Ryan is not fond of my stuffed animals, <laughs> and so I'm selling some of them. Yes, <laughs> to appease the monster. Yes. <laughs> Those Fabletics teal ones sold for 13 and I made eight fifty five. Once again, Jack probably found them for me, mm -hmm. so, so for profit. You. And this, either Jack or Ryan gave me to sell. It was a Coach Daisy signature bag, and it sold for $42, and I made thirty two ten, which was very so nice. Good sale. And then I sold a top shop sweater which jack gave me from the bins for 13 and i made 855 again so we've touched on both brands that i said that we should get debbie like yes. you said zara and top shop and fabletics is one we get pretty often too yep. so then on the 11th i had four sales and so did i wow hmm. i've got some competition <laughs> this week so my first sale is a debbie level sale it sold for 12. <laughs> well hello <laughs> and it was this lucky brand vintage tie-dye bikini top it was like the old Lucky Brand label, which I know there's some like older Lucky stuff that is almost kind of like sought after. This sold for 12 and I get 905. This was like when tie-dye was super popular right at the beginning of Janine. And it did. It had a decent amount of likes. Nobody told me it wasn't popular anymore. Well, no. I have a tie-dye. I mean, tie-dye is always no, I'm teasing. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe because people were at home and they tie-dyed yeah, stuff. Yeah, I think that is why. Little art project. Then I so 
sold. This was a new brand to me that I have found out is a bolo, I guess. It's called Spartina 449, and I think that's that purse that we saw at Turnstyle yesterday, oh, which yeah. is a consignment You did say shop. Spartina. Consignment store nearest is Turnstyle, so if we ever say Turnstyle, that's what that is. Cora Silk Boho Blouse. This sold for 45, which is what I had listed it for, and it sold in like two days, wow. and so I get 33.54. Then this is another Bolo brand that you guys actually taught me about. I hadn't really heard of it, but now I know to look for it. It's called Icebreaker, and they do sustainable merino wool. And this was a face warmer, and this sold for 25 in maybe two days, and it had already like nine likes and I get 20. I'd be curious to know what state that shipped off to. Did Pro it stay here right in Minnesota? Maybe, or probably, <laughs> or maybe, yeah, like Colorado or something. <laughs> then, this is a Bolo brand, but a lot of people probably know this one, Isabel Marant, the Monty Metallic Trousers. I think I paid like $16.50 for these, and they sold for 90, and I get 72, and I love to sell Isabel Marant. Nice. Have you ever had Isabel Marant? No. <laughs> no, I'd have to see what the tag looks like. Ryan Once I see the tag, I can pick Picture, yes, I can picture it in my mind. So yes. sometimes I got to see the tags. My first sale was a Sundance teal leather wraparound bracelet, which actually had a lot of likes. I bought it at Turnstile for a couple bucks. It sold for 12, I get 6.59. And then back to the Zara, a Zara sparkly shimmer blue knit sweater jacket thing. It was long. Was it new? It was new with tags. Mm. Um, but I did pick it up at a consignment. Oh, okay. Price. It sold for thirty-five, and I made twenty-eight dollars. That's a good sale for Zara. But, that's quite a bit. Yeah, yeah. I mean under ten dollars. You never pay a lot for much, <laughs> except your purses. Those the forty dollars. <laughs> yes. Or Brahmin. Debbie will pay up for Brahmin. I do. I know. There's so many cute Brahmins. Then they actually I sold Anthropology Austin pants. They had kind of floral pattern on them. Yeah, They're very pretty. Cute. They sold for 15. I made 12. <laughs> and then I sold these. Remember, I found two pair of cabbie pants at was it Salvation Army? Yeah. Yeah. That's in this... Salvation that I got the UGG sweatshirt at. Yes. These were the cabbie Connery trousers. And I found two pair, and you said I for sure would get these and they sold like the next day after I put them up. Yeah. They sold for $20 and I made $13.54. Cabby is one that will sometimes pick up for Zippy too because I, it's like hit or miss for me, but she seems to sell it. Like, I don't know if I would have sold those. Like they probably wouldn't have went for me. I yeah. do believe that it was the ticket of the day. It was oh, half price. Not. So I think I paid $3.50. Then on the 12th, I had eight. I had none. <laughs> <laughs> My first one was a pair of mother jeans and these were the insider crop flare jeans. These were actually like an older anthro piece, which Mother is not a very old brand, I don't think. So this is probably one of their first pieces they ever made. And they were a size 24, so kind of a harder sell. But since it's Mother, they still sold for 60 and I get 48. Then I sold this Free People Textured Found My Friend sweater. I, for some reason, find this sweater all the time and it actually does pretty decent, which for Free People is good because it doesn't do that good anymore. Mm -hmm. This sold for 32 and I get 25, 60. Then I sold a Lululemon. <laughs> Lululemon. <laughs> I'm probably not saying it right. <laughs> Restless pullover top. And this sold for 35 and I get 28. It was at Unique and they didn't see the Lulu logo, so they only marked it at $6.99. Then Gina, who we love Gina, she always buys from us and she's always so sweet. And she's the one who, remember we were watching my haul and I had the Juicy Couture pants and I said that Gina buys my kids stuff. Oh, yeah. This is her. Sold for 24. It was a Madewell texture and thread flutter sleeve top. It sold for 24 and I get 1920. So thank you very much, Gina, from me and Debbie. Yes, thank you, Gina. <laughs> then I sold this Anthropology Amadi slubbed cotton dress. Sold for 23. I got 1840. That was a bins find. Then I sold another pair of the ribcage boot cut flare Levi's, and these ones sold under Aritzia, and these sold for 55 and I get 44. And then I sold to Jill. So hello and thank you, Jill. Jill buys from us quite a lot too, and she is also a viewer. And she lives in Iowa. And she got the Raspberry Beret from Minnesota. Like Prince. He yes. A Raspberry Beret. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a lot of people comment. I didn't even like connect that, but a lot of people commented, oh, a Minnesota Raspberry Beret. I yes. can't believe it. This was just like a vintage wool one. I love picking up berets. They always sell so good for me. And this oh. sold for 25 and I get 20. Jill, you're getting a Minnesotan Raspberry Beret. <laughs> 
And then the last one on the 12th was my second to last pair of the Levi's Ribcage Bootcut Flyer Jeans. And again, they sold under Aritzia and they sold for 56 and I get 44.80. It'll be sad to be completely out of those because they sell so good. Then on the 13th, I had 10. I had one. <laughs> my first one is my favorite pair of Sam Edelman's to sell ever. And that is the Hazel Heels. They always sell so good no matter what print or material or whatever and these were suede and maroon and they sold for 59 and i get 47.20 then i sold american eagle curvy super high rise jeggings for 29 i get 23.20 they were a great size they were size 14 so that's why i grabbed those then i sold this vintage 90s yellowstone park embroidered t-shirt this seems like more of a ryan pickup not really something i would normally do although there is a tv show on right now called yellowstone and it's very popular oh I Maybe think like that's why. Kevin Costner's in it and it's, hmm. I'm, it's on, I can't think what station. But, I know yeah. people really like the vintage yep. like parks t-shirts mm. too. Sold for 22, I get 1760. Then I sold a bundle. And again, this is kind of a little bit more Ryan-y, I feel like. So he's here, he's here in spirit, but not in person, I guess. Mm. <laughs> Haunting us. <laughs> Athleta teal long sleeve soft sweatshirt. Urban Outfitters striped fuzzy tank top, which is very Ryan. And Lululemon scoop. Lululemon, even I forgot. Lululemon. To do it. Scoop neck python print top. I guess I sold a lot of Lulu this week. Yeah, sold for you did. eight and I get 61.54. Then I sold this Free People I Can't Wait knit crop sweatshirt for 20 and I get 16 and I was about to consign that so I'm glad it sold. Then I sold this Free People One Lace Adela Bralette. Ryan loves selling these and for me I've been sitting on it forever. Sold for 25 I get 20. Then I sold this Athleta Peace of Mind cami tank top and this was in the haul like I think the last haul or else it was on Tuesday. Sold for 20 I get 16. Then I sold this Chaser Living the Dream graphic t-shirt. This sold wide while I was hauling. So if this person is a viewer, hello, I don't have your name written down. I'm sorry. And I hope hello. you are living the dream. Yes. I feel Jack is. <laughs> <laughs> the American dream. <laughs> sold for 30. I get 21.54. Then this also sold during the haul. So again, if you're a viewer, hello. Anthropology Rose Floral Embroidered Crossbody Strap that had a ton of likes. And then this I totally forgot to put in the haul because it was actually in a sweater shave pile. So I didn't show it, but this should have been in the haul. Nirvana striped logo graphic sweater. Together these sold for 55, I get 44. And last on the 13th, this was a viewer. She said, and her name is Susie. So hello and thank you, Susie. <laughs> this Bali quilted leather drawstring bucket bag sold to her for 80 and I get 64. So thank you very much, Susie. Yeah, thank you, Susie. My one sale <laughs> was a fossil geometric shape wallet. It sold for 12 and I get 905. I've had like last Christmas, I think it was, I had a lot of fossil wallets. Yes. So you said if you need a wallet. So yes. I, I'm sure I bought this and to flip and I can't tell you how much I paid, but probably not that much. Then the last day of this What's Sold Saturday week is the 14th and I had four sales. I had four sales also. My first sale was this Smart Wool, like one of my absolute favorite brands to find, Merino Wool Quarter Button Sweater. Sold for 60 and I get 48. And I sold this Prana Sherpa Line Zip Quilted Vest. This is actually a brand we usually will pick up for Debbie too because I just can't sell Prana that well. But this one sold for 30 and I get 21.54. Then I sold a bundle of a Nike Spell Out logo striped sports bra along with a pink Floyd tie-dye graphic crop top. Sold for 40, I get 32. And my last sale of the week was this Pottery Barn Joseph Frank, which I think was an artist, Serafina pillowcase, and clip-on animal print blanket. I did not know that brand, but it seemed nice, so I googled it at the bins and then I guess was expensive. Wow. And together they sold for 55 and I get 44. Nice, nice. My first sale was a bins find for Jack. He brought me home a Le Sport sack shoulder bag. And in less than, I posted it one, I listed it on the night and by morning it was sold. It sold for 18 and I got 11.94 for your profit. another Debbie brand. Yes. <laughs> Um, and then I sold an Athleta Drishti Ruched Top, which was probably given to me by Jack or Ryan or one they decided not to sell. It was a black knit 
And that is very tough to have in a pug household uh -huh. here. And so you just don't want to deal with it. Um, that sold for $18 and I got $11.94. I also sold a cabbie shirt that sold for $10. Jack had given, he just gave it to me. And so I made like... That tank top? yeah oh wow yeah you just and gave it to me cabby quickly then and i sold a bundle last night very late at night so for 90 dollars for like eight things and a lot of it was things that jack and ryan have given to me <laughs> it's a trend so, here. so i really had a decent week for me yes. too I yeah yeah so then your numbers will be off just by a little because he didn't add those into them right because they were late night sales but my gross for this week was extremely high but again I remember like my cost of goods ratio was a little different this week because I sent out a lower offer. So $27.50 was my gross. Nice. My gross was $376. And <laughs> this is how I say this on the channel too. My net. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> was $2,165. And my net. <laughs> was $300.80. Yes. Just lacking those two that I just sold last night. So yes. it's just a little more than that. It was a decent week for me. Yeah. Yeah, so it was a really good sales week. But again, like I sent out offers. So that is definitely to blame for such a good sales week. I didn't have too many like super high dollar ones this week. And then my eBay Mercari didn't really have much go on. My Mercari did fairly well. Yeah, I think I had one Mercari and it was a stuffed animal. So surprising. <laughs> <laughs> now we'll jump into Debbie's few little highlights that she'd like to share because obviously since Debbie maybe doesn't have as many like quantity sales in a week her like big sales are more spread out yes and she hasn't been on recent what's on Saturdays to share her victories with you guys so just so you don't think I have only small sales <laughs> I'm just sharing a few of my little bit bigger sales yeah. the end of December I had sold some Kate Spade Sabina suede ankle boots for 85 and I made 60 55 I kind of had a little run with I get lucky sometimes finding Spanx um and at one point I must have had five or six styles mm -hmm. and I did had an Instagram picture yes I had one week where I actually sold three pair and so this pair here was some faux leather camo leggings that sold for 70 i made 53 oh, 54 then i had some Tim on your birthday looks yeah like on sold. my i had a birthday sale of timberland <laughs> keniston boots they were a light pink they were very pretty i bought three pair at once for maybe 60 or 70 dollars so this one pair sold for 90 and i made 72 dollars and my high sale was a to me laptop business tote i did buy this once again on marketplace I spent 50, which is a lot for me, but it, it was listed as new and some of the zippers and stuff still had the plastic bag covering over it. And I sold it for $250. I made one ninety two fifty. dollars Which is really, really good. I remember when you bought that, I think I was maybe a little like- You didn't think Hesitant of that you'd spent that much on it, but cause I just wouldn't picture being able to sell it for that much. And I got five stars. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. That's really good. And then I sold another pair of Spanx cropped flare denim raw edge. These were very, very cute. Sold very fast. I know. And all these Spanx were my size. They was very tempted <laughs> to want to keep them. But they sold for 75 and I earned 60 with a five star rating. And if you didn't know, the flare or like wide leg jean Spanx are like huge ballo. They sell very, very fast. Yeah. I, that was probably a 24 hour yeah. turnaround. So it's okay to pay up like even if you sell them for like 20 they'll still probably sell for like 75 fast i know and i've been finding my spanks for like nine dollars yeah 950 or something <laughs> yeah and those, and are, those highlights. are my highlights yes. over the past mid so December. not all debbie's sales are just 12 dollars, and she's not only selling chemises and making a dollar 60. <laughs> But I will sell some. <laughs> so that is all the sales that we have for you guys today. As always, let us know below how your sales week was. Luckily, we both had a pretty decent one. Thank you, Debbie, so much for filling in for Ryan. Thank you for officially having me. replacing Ryan. <laughs> And thank you for having me. Yes, of course, I will link Debbie's Poshmark below as the first link. So if you want to go look, but you can also just go in there and say, good job, Debbie, with What Sold Saturday. You can congratulate her on her first any big comments, role. <laughs> I will enjoy any comments. Yes. So thank you guys so much for watching. And again, thank you to Debbie. And thank you to Mike for having too loud.
And <laughs> I will see you guys on Tuesday, and Debbie will be back. Like I had said a while ago, I want to have her, like, once a month in What's Old Saturday with Ryan and I. It just, like, with the holidays and stuff, it got kind of busy, and it kind of got thrown off. But goal is to have it once a month. So I will see you... Sometime. Once a month, maybe. <laughs> yes. Sometime. Sometime have, soon. Yes. Have a good rest of your Saturday. Bye. Bye. <laughs>